Well, it's been a week since UC Berkeley literally went up in flames in response to an attempted speech by Milo Yiannopoulos. He spoke to Yiannopoulos immediately afterward, and he had this to say about what had just happened to him. All sorts of things happened to people who just showed up, not all of whom were fans of mine, but just who wanted to come and just listen to what I had to say. You know? And those people were, were, were attacked, physically attacked. Right? This is political violence in response to perfectly mainstream opinion. Well, the aftermath in some quarters was pretty disheartening. Berkeley's campus paper published no fewer than five separate editorials defending the use of violence to stop Milo from saying things they disagreed with. One alternative voice to that, though, was Matt Teitelbaum. He's the president of the University of Maryland College Democrats, and he recently wrote a piece, quote, I'm a liberal and I want Milo Yiannopoulos on my campus. He joins us now. Matt, thanks a lot for coming on. So Hi, Tucker, in this so piece, me on. well, it, I, it's glad to talk to you, and it's reassuring to talk to a liberal who believes in free speech. You, you say this, you lead it with, my most cherished liberty is free speech. So first of all, God bless you for saying that. Second, why is that such an uncommon sentiment among your fellow liberals. It used to be commonplace. That was the line. I, you know, I'll die for your right to say something I disagree with. Why is that not heard anymore? Yeah, well, you know, and that is the crux of my message, that although, although I really don't agree with the vast majority of what Milo says, really all I agree with him on is his right to speak, uh, I will defend to the death his right to say it. And I will say, I think that with liberals, what's happened is a very small but very loud minority has started to really hurt the conversation and has tried to silence people. And all it's done is, look, it made Milo famous. It's just making this fight tougher for us. So, you know, I'm right. trying to awaken the silent majority of us that do believe in free speech, that are real liberals, not regressives, to, to fight back with our words. Well, I guess I disagree with you on, the, on your point about it being a small minority. There's been a mm -hmm. lot of polling on this, and the poll I saw yesterday showed that about half of self-described liberals on college campuses believe there are limits to free speech and those end with what they call hate speech, defined as something I disagree with. How many college classes have you been in where the professor has made a point of reminding the class that free speech is your birthright as an American and that it's absolute? Well, you know, I go to Towson University, which is an excellent school where, you know, sometimes with students I can tell that there's a lot of sensitivity and that political correctness with certain students uh, who, you know, have definitely been critical of my article since it came out, might trump the right to free speech. But I would say that overall on colleges, again, it's a small minority. Most of the professors I've had, they may not start every class with, you know, free speech is your birthright, but they do say, hey, let's have an open dialogue. Let's not be disrespectful to one another. If you disagree with somebody, engage them in a respectful way. And I'm really glad that I've had right. professors, great professors at Towson who've done that. And I hope to think, and I'm confident, that it's most liberals and conservatives all across America that believe that. And I want, us to, br I want to bring us together around that cause and, 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 you know, take the power away from this loud, oh so loud, minority. Yes, and violent, because it's, it's not just that they disagree, it's that they're willing to use force to make certain people they disagree with are not heard. And, and by the way, without a common agreement on the freedom of speech, you can't have any kind of conversation at all. So what has been the response been to your piece as an avowed liberal ahead of the College Democrats defending free speech? What kind of response have you had? Well, you know, I've gotten a lot of support because, at a, as I said, you know, I think that it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a majority that hasn't been able to speak out as much because of the, the violence, as you said, of the minority. But I have gotten some, you know, some heat for it, and I'm accountable for my words publicly. You know, I'm ready to take the heat. Uh, and right now, I think it's important for liberals like me, like other people where I sort of, other liberals that I admire, like Bill Maher and Dave Rubin, uh, who has popularized the term regressive left. It's important for us to, you know, wake up people like us and say, let's take back the Democratic Party. Let's take back the word liberal so that it doesn't mean regressive, so that it doesn't mean anti-free speech, so that it means, right. you know, we have our positions. We'll debate you on yours. We're not going to try to silence you. So you mentioned Dave Rubin. I don't know who he is. I know who Bill Maher is. Those are two people, and good for them, who are standing up for free speech. But what about the actual leaders of the American left? It's, it's political leaders. I didn't hear any of them, not one of them say, hey, Milo Yiannopoulos ought to have a right to say what he thinks, like, this is America. Why did nobody say that? Well, you know, I did, and I'm the president of the College Democrats of Maryland, and I hope Good that people you. will follow suit. I, you know, I hope that maybe people will be watching tonight, and, and they'll go, you know what, I agree with him. I, I agree. I'm a Democrat. I'm a liberal. I think people read my article that agree with me. I've heard from people who read my article yes. that agree with me, my, uh, my op-ed, that is. And I'm very, very hopeful that maybe I'm starting a conversation amongst liberals, along with people like Bill Maher and, and others, where we say, 
this is not okay. That we that 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 liberalism means supporting free speech. I, you know, I really do think there's potential here to, to right. you know, to, to 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 nip in the bud this PR problem that liberals have, where everyone thinks we're snowflakes, we're politically correct. You know, the millennials, whatever. I, I'm I'm trying to start a conversation here about that because it is important. Yeah, it's vital and it's more than a PR problem. Godspeed. Thanks, Matt.